Hi, this is Michelle Aiden with your Capital Brief with Libertas Institute. I'm at the Capitol right now with Representative Roberts to talk about his beekeeping bill. Will you tell us a little bit about your bill? Sure. Uh, we live in the beehive state and we believe in self-reliance and self-sufficiency and all those things. But in order to raise bees in the beehive state, you have to register and get permission. So basically what the code says, it's unlawful to raise bees in the beehive state unless you register. Problem is, most people don't even know this. And beekeeping is a growing trend, not only in Utah, across the country, around the world. More and more people are getting into beekeeping, hobbyist, urban backyard beekeeping, one or two, three, four hives maximum. They're doing it for all sorts of different reasons. And they don't know when they go by the hive that they have to register. And so you have a lot of people breaking the law a law that they don't even know exists. Why do you think that is a law? Uh, I, I can understand why it was originally put into place. Uh, they wanted a way to be able to notify beekeepers. This goes back into the late 1800s, early 1900s when this was originally put into place. Uh, there are some diseases associated with, with bees. They can get foul brood, which is a bad disease, and it can spread to other hives. Or you might have a farmer spraying pesticides over its fields and you don't want to spray the pesticides on the bees. It might kill the bees. And so it was a way that they could notify beekeepers and say, hey, there's, there's a hive that has been inspected within a two mile radius of your hive and it had a disease. Maybe you want to do something to your hive. Or we're going to spray pesticides in this area. Uh, and so if you don't want your bees to die from the pesticides, maybe you want to move them. All that's great. Uh, in today's day, we've got Facebook, you got um, beekeeping groups that are flourishing, they're growing, people are communicating, word spreads fast. And what I'm doing with the bills, I'm, I'm removing the unlawful aspect of, of raising bees, and I'm changing the mandatory registration to voluntary. So if that notification makes sense for you, if that's a value you see that the state can provide to you, and because you want to be notified, because maybe your bees are in an area that does mosquito abatement regularly and you want to know when they do it so you can cover your hive. Well then you'll register voluntarily. Uh, but if it's not of concern to you and you're in an area that doesn't have those problems, there's no need for you to register at that point and it won't be unlawful for you not to do it. Okay. So I was told that you are a beekeeper yourself. Why is this issue so important to you? Um, I enjoy bees. I've had bees five or six years. It's a fun little hobby and it's a chance I get my kids out there to do some different work with me and, and we enjoy uh, the honey that we get from it. Uh, I think this will help encourage more beekeeping um, and uh, help strengthen the beekeeping community. We need more bees, otherwise it'll end up like the bee movie. <laughs> um, but we need more bees. They're our pollinators, and, and we need more of them around. And, and the hobbyists, I think, can really help uh, uh, w with different research on, on, on building different genetics to withstand certain diseases that maybe the commercial guys, they can't afford to take those risks. But the hobbyists can do that. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yep. Um, for more information or to contact your legislator, just click the, or click the link in the description below.